Hey, 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 welcome everybody. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. I know some of you are still uh, over on uh, other broadcasts, but I thank you guys for coming here every night. And I um, appreciate every single one of you coming on here and uh, listening to my broadcast. All right, guys. So um, I am Jason Wallace. I am a believer and follower of Jesus Christ. I'm a prayer warrior, an intercessor, a Bible reader. I'm a devoted husband and father. I'm a child of God. I'm a new creation in Christ. I am a saint. I am God's workmanship created in Christ for good works. I am a citizen of heaven. I am a very proud member of the Jesus Did It family. And uh, if you want to learn more about the Jesus Did It family, you can go to our uh, website at jesusdidit.org and um, you can check out the um, the or check out the other broadcasters that broadcast under the hashtag Jesus did it um, as well as you can download where, where the red arrow is hey shell thank you for joining uh, you can uh, check out the red arrow download and you can download the PDF file that has all the affirmations in there which is all those I am statements you know I am holy I am a temple of the Holy Spirit and it'll tell you exactly where that verse is in the Bible so it's a really good resource to have, and it's a good thing for you to uh, download and put in your Bible and speak life over yourself, and uh, that, that way you can uh, know who you are, uh, and and uh, and who Jesus says you are in the Bible. So definitely take a look at that when you get a chance, uh, guys. The countdown is on. We are literally days away. I leave next Saturday, uh, the twenty fourth at. Um, I got to be at the airport at 4:30 in the morning, uh, and uh, we fly out, and I'll be uh, spending the whole week there in the Dominican Republic. And uh, I just uh, request request for some prayers, and uh, pray for my pray for me, pray for my family, pray for um, you know, pray for hey Caleb, thank you, oh well, thank you, thank you, um, yeah, pray for me for for uh, for safety on the trip, and pray for my family just for protection and and um, uh, and just that everything goes uh, easy for them while, while I'm away. Hey, man, what's up? <laughs> My egg drop isn't right working, so I missed your comment if you said something there. I'm not sure. It looks like Rick still uh, may, must be telling the story. Uh, oh, he's finishing up. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, how's it going, Andrea? Thanks for joining. Yep, so uh, your prayers are definitely, uh, definitely uh, requested, and uh, I do appreciate them. Uh, I got to say, I got, I just got on to say, pray, pray what I missed. Ah, uh, that's pretty much it, man. We've gone through my normal stuff I do in the beginning, so uh, you're you're good to go. We haven't started anything else just yet. Um, it's just with Busker, we, you got to set the time, and I picked uh, midnight to do that. So uh, I definitely thank you guys for uh, for joining me. All right, so here's our Bible reading. Bible reading for tonight is Joshua chapter 2. Joshua chapter 2 starts off with Rahab and the spies. Then Joshua, son of Nun, uh, secretly <laughs> secretly sent, uh oh, I pressed the wrong button, so sorry, secretly sent two, two spies from Shit, Shittim, 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 uh, go, go, over, go look over, over the land, he said, especially Jericho, so that so they went and they entered the house of the of the prostitute named Rahab and stayed there. The king of Jericho was told, Look, some of the Israelites have come here tonight to spy out the land. So the king of Jericho sent this message to Rahab. Bring out the men who came to you and entered your house, because they have come to spy out the whole land. But the woman the woman had taken the two men and hidden them, uh, she said. Yes, the men came to me, but I did not know what they what they what they had come for, or where they had come from. At dusk, when it when it was time to close the city gate, they left. I don't know which way they went. Go after them quickly. <laughs> they you you may catch up with them. But she had taken them. <clears throat> they, she had taken them up to the roof and hidden them under stalks of flax. She uh, she laid out on the roof, or, or that she had laid out on the roof. 
So the men set out in pursuit of the spies on the road that leads to the fords of the, of the Jordan. And so, and soon as the pursuers had gone out, uh, gone out the gate was shut. Before the spies lay down for the night, she went up on the roof and said to them, I know that the Lord has given you this land, and that a, a great fear of you has fallen on us, so that all who live in this country are melting in the fear because of you. We have heard how the Lord has dried up the water on the Red Sea for, for you when you came out of Egypt, and what you did in Sihon and, and Og, Og, the two kings of the Amorites east of the Jordan, whom were completely destroyed, when we heard when we heard it, our hearts melted in fear, and everyone's courage failed because of you. The Lord your God is the God in heaven, above and on the earth below. Now then, please swear to me by by the Lord that you will show kindness to my family, because I have shown kindness to you. Give me a sure sign that will, that will spare, spare the lives of my father and mother, and my brother and sisters, and all who belong to them, that you will save them, or you will save us from death. Our lives for our lives. The men are assured her. Our lives for your lives. That's what he said. Uh, if you, uh, if you don't tell, well, if, if you don't tell what, uh, what we are doing, uh, we uh, we will treat you kindly and faithfully when the Lord gives us the land. So she let them down by a rope through the window, for the house she lived in was part of the city wall. She said to them, Go to the hills, so the pursuers will not find you. Hide yourselves there for three days until they return, and then go on your way. Now the men had said to her, This oath you made made us, uh, made us swear will not be binding on us unless we uh, we enter the land you have you have uh, you have tied this scarlet cord in the window through which uh, you will let us down and unless you have brought your father and your mother and your brother and all of your family into your house if any of them go outside of your house into the street their blood will be on their own hands and we will not be responsible as for those who are in the house with you, their blood will be on your head, or will be on our head, if a hand is laid on them. But if you tell, if but if you tell what we are doing, uh, we will <clears throat> we will release you from the oath, and you will and that you made that you that you made us swear. Agreed, she replied. Let it be as you say. So so she sent them away. And they departed. She tied the scarlet cord from it uh, in the window. When they left, <clears throat> they went into the hills and stayed there three days until the pursuers had searched all along the road and returned without finding them. Then the two men started back started back. They, they went down out of the hills, uh, forded the river, and came to Joshua, son of Nun and told him everything that had happened to them. They said to Joshua, The Lord has surely given the whole land into our hands. All of the people are melting in fear because of us. Amen. Woo. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm glad to uh, not be reading uh, like Leviticus and Deuteronomy anymore. Not, not that it's not important books, but it's nice to be able to read some some different stories rather than just do this, don't do this, do this, don't do this. <laughs> you know, all the law stuff. So uh, definitely, it's uh, it feels it feels better to uh, to see that stuff. All right, so I'm just fixing up my uh, screen here because it looks a little weird for me. All right, go Rahab, right? You know, she's like, listen, <laughs> if I do this, it's like bartering, right? All right, guys, so uh, for Saturday, I didn't make it, but that's all right. For Saturday, June 17th, <clears throat> but for uh, for some people's time zones, it might be perfect timing. 
Uh, Time Together is the title, and it's written by Alison Keita. On the two-hour drive, <clears throat> sorry, on a two-hour drive from a family member's wedding, my mom asked me for the third time what was new in my job. I once again repeated some of the details as, as if telling her for the first time, while wondering what might possibly make my words more memorable. My mom has Alzheimer's, a disease that progressively destroys the memory, can adversely affect behavior, and eventually leads to the loss of speech and more. I, I grieve because of my mother's disease, but I am thankful she is still here and we can spend time together and even converse. It thrills me that whenever I go out, go to see her, she lights up with joy and exclaims, Allison, what a pleasant surprise. We enjoy each other's company, and even in the silences when the words escape her, we commune together. This, perhaps, is a small picture of, of our relationship with God. Scripture tells us the Lord delights in those who fear him, who, who, put, who, who put their hope in his unfailing love. God calls those who believe in Jesus as their Savior, yeah, as their Savior, his children. And although we may make the same request over and over again, or a lack of words, he is patient with us because he has a loving relationship with us. He is happy when we converse with him in prayer, even when the words escape us. It happens to me quite a bit. <laughs> uh, this is the prayer here it says, Dear Lord, it thrills us that you want to have a relationship with us. Thank you for, your, for the opportunity to learn of you through the Bible and to talk with you in prayer. Amen. The footnote says, God delights to hear from us. Today's reading was from Psalms chapter 147, verses 1 through 11. Uh, and the key verse is Psalms 147, chapter 11. The Lord delights in those who fear him and put their hope in his unfailing love. Amen. That's a good reading. Uh, for those who don't know, the Our Daily Bread is a free publication. You uh, check and see. It might be at your church. Um, if not, um, uh, you can go to the website, the odb.org website, and um, uh, you can get the electronic download. I think they may even send it to you in the mail if you ask them to. Uh, but that's a really good, uh, really good devotional. We read it every night, uh, so we can uh, we can cover. We're reading we're reading the whole Bible from start to finish. So. It's good to get a little bit of um, um, it's good to get a little bit of um, say it a little bit of New Testament while we're reading all the Old Testament stuff. Did I not put egg drop in my broadcast? Do I not even have a title? Oh no! Did I mess up? Or did my Periscope mess up? That is so funny. No, I goofed up. I think that's all right. I don't see anything like in my title or even my. Oh, good night. Uh, good night. There. Uh... And I messed up. Good night, Jesse. You have a nice night, man. Yeah, it looks like. Uh... Looks like Periscope messed up. No title, huh? Does it have a title? Does anybody see a title by any chance? It seems so weird. Let's go take a look and see. It's not able to get egg drop. I don't know what's going on. I can't keep up with the comments. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it says you're live. That's all it says. It's just that you're live. How did it not take the paste? Oh my goodness. You know what I'm going to have to do? Uh, no, I'm not going to do it. I'll just leave it. That's no good. Oh, no. That's all right. 
That is all right. We'll uh, we'll deal with it. Um, just probably not going to get a lot of bro a lot of a lot of viewers tonight. That's all right. Oh man, I really messed that one up. That's all right. Uh, it doesn't matter because all the stuff's in the title anyway. So that's all that matters is that. Uh, is that we uh, get the word out and we get the people get people to see it. So the our daily bread sign. There you go. <laughs> um, so yeah, well that's it. We'll we'll draw people in I guess that way. Um, and that's all right because I am exhausted and my head is killing me. So it is all right that we don't have a proper title for tonight. What that'll do is maybe that'll keep some of the trolls away and keep uh, some of the uh, uh, the other. Uh, non-believers away you know out of the broadcast the people that cause trouble and um, but if you do have uh, questions uh, comments prayer requests praise reports anything like that um, definitely come in here oh yeah yeah we all gotta get some sleep I got, I got church tomorrow morning and it's Father's Day and uh, it's all good it's all good thank you thank you um, definitely appreciate those prayers. God bless you too. All right, guys. So, um, any comments, questions, uh, prayer requests, praise reports, you name it, uh, just throw it in the chat stream and we will pray for you. Nothing, nothing. No. Everybody looks like everybody's just tired and beat from the week, right? Go get some, uh, go get some rest and, uh, Get filled up tomorrow at church, right? And let's see. Background. There we go. Well, if we don't have any praise reports or anything like that, we're going to go ahead and. Uh, um, wow, we got lots of people coming tonight. Hey, Sue, thanks for joining. Oh, thank you. Happy Father's Day to you guys, too, the, to the guys and. Uh, that are um, that are going to be celebrating with their uh, with their children. You know, I've already gotten some really really neat. Uh, you know, the the kid made gifts, right? Those are the best ones. The, the store bought ones are not. Uh, you know, they're okay, but uh, the best ones are when you get to, when you get the handmade gifts by the, from the kids. Those are the best. Uh, those are the best ones. Because those are the ones that come from their hearts, right? You know. So, guys, uh, thank you for joining. If you have any prayer requests or praise reports or anything like that, uh, throw it in the chat stream. Uh, glad I came, to Kentucky, catching up with friends. Awesome. That's good. Good. Good stuff. Um, that's really good stuff. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I missed a comment, I'm sorry. Um, so guys, if you have any, no prayer requests or praise reports, nothing, that's all right. We will, uh, praising God for a dad that made it easy to believe in Jesus because he was such a loving dad. That's awesome. Praise the Lord for that. Praise the Lord for good dads. And for the dads who are trying to be uh, to be good examples for their for their children, um, I'm trying. I'm trying my hardest. That's why I'm doing this. Um, I'm doing this uh, Bible study with uh, my church. Um, it's called Authentic Man, Authentic Manhood, and um, it's a Bible study based on the 33 years that Jesus was alive, and um, it says a man and his design. You know, to help uh, help us become better men through uh, through the through scripture, so I definitely recommend this uh, if you are uh, uh, if you're struggling, if you're you know can't quite figure out what's going on, right? Pray listen. Where you go? Let's do that. Let's do that because she's gonna be heading up my way. Uh, we're gonna have a Perry meetup uh, with with Larissa. Uh, she's gonna be driving through. Don't know if she if she's with Bill or not. She is with her husband. Yep, her and her husband are driving up there. Uh, 
they're they're doing lots of stops. They're going to be seeing lots of their friends. Um, yes, my dad would have seen himself. That's perfect biologic shot. So be encouraged. Yeah, I, uh, um, you know, uh, talking about dads, you know, we, um, I'll talk about it tomorrow, I guess. I'll talk about it tomorrow. We'll talk about dads tomorrow. Because that's when I, you know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's lift up Larissa. She's going to be coming, um, this way. Uh, her and her husband were, uh, destined to go to, uh, to Toronto for a um, for a uh, baseball game, but um, uh, I had mentioned to them that they needed uh, something more than their driver's license to get across the border, and um, I guess their um, um, I guess their passports are a little out of date, so uh, they weren't able to go to Toronto to go to the to the game. So um, their plans are still to excuse me. Oh, yes, you absolutely do need a passport. Uh, you need a passport or an enhanced driver's license. So um, I have both, so I really doesn't, you know, I can pick which one I want to use. But, um, but, yeah, if it's got, and there's only a few states that have enhanced driver's license. There's, they got a chip inside of it. Um, so what, what did I miss there? I'm sorry. I will be with you all in spirit. Tomorrow is... I missed that comment. I'm so sorry. What did she write? I always needed a passport. That's right. Um, but yeah, I'm writing, yeah, you do need a passport. Absolutely. Because it's Father's Day. Oh, you know, there's going to be a lot of people. We should probably do that. Let's pray. Let's pray over the people that are going to be hurting tomorrow. Um, because um, so let's do that. We got some prayers here. So let's get into it. Um, let's see. I got no prayer requests over here on Busker, and uh, uh, there is absolutely nobody on uh, YouTube, which is fine. Uh, using YouTube as an archive because we know that. Uh, Facebook or um, Periscope deletes. Oh my goodness, notifications are driving me nuts. Uh, never thought that. Is that thought about it that way? I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm like not paying attention because the the uh, egg drop not working. So guys, I'm so sorry. All right, so let's pray for yeah. Let's pray. Let's pray for a bunch of people. So uh, Lord Heavenly Father, we lift up uh, we lift up our, um, Larissa today, Lord. When her and her husband are traveling, they're putting a lot of miles on there. Yeah, we're gonna pray for you definitely. Um, Lord, good night, good night, Rick. Get some rest, buddy. Uh, Lord, Heavenly Father, we we lift Larissa and her husband as they're driving, they're traveling, uh, uh, you know, several thousand miles around uh, around the United States to, in the next couple of days, uh, for you know, for this next you know, like month. Lord, we uh, we lift up, we lift them up today, and we ask that you uh. And give them uh, protection. Uh, let their car be uh, car be solid and, and in proper mechanical order. Let make sure that the tires all work well. And there's no issues. Uh, Lord, just uh, protect them on their journey and uh, allow them to be able to have uh, uh, some fun and some good times with meeting uh, new people that that uh, you know in real life that uh, that we have all um, uh, had acquaintances with on on different social media platforms uh, and, and also let her let her be able to uh, enjoy uh, meeting up with some of their military friends and families there as well Lord. and uh, comfort them and uh, keep them in keep them in protection for their drive Lord. Um, Lord we uh, we pray for all the all the people um, who may not have a father to celebrate on Father's Day or a father that is um, uh, that that people are not, you know, that, that they just don't have in their lives um, to be able to help, uh, to be able to let them be able to celebrate the, the day. So, Lord, we uh, we just want you to know that, um, we, we just want them to know that um, you are their father. And there is no, even though that their, their worldly father, their earthly father, 
may not be here or may not be in um, may not be in you know in their lives and, and around them um, but uh, you know we just want them to understand that that uh, you Lord you are the one you are you are their father and there is no other father that um, that um, that is greater than that so we uh, we just lift up uh, we lift up all our little friends especially Lisa today Lord we know that uh, her father had left left her at a very young age and Lord we know that that may uh, yeah, that, that that does have an effect on her and uh, Lord we just ask that you would give her comfort as well as the other people who are hurting on on the day like today uh, when their you know their father may be gone in heaven already or uh, may not have known um, you know, they may not have known who their father are, but we just ask that you lift up the people um, who, who are affected by that today, Lord, and uh, let them get uh, some rest tonight, let them get some peace and ease, and let them understand that you, the great I am, is their father, and, um, and there's no, no getting rid of you, Lord, so um, we just lift them up today, Lord, and we thank you for everything that you've given us. In your mighty son's name we pray. Amen. If I miss anything, I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, definitely. Lisa, it's uh it's there. The boat, he's there. He's laying on the, he's laying up there on the bow of the boat. And you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And uh just wake him up. Say, Jesus. You need to calm the storm today. So, uh, no problem. Listen, that's what we're here for. We're here to help lift each other up. We're here to uh, to help each other get through, you know, hard times, as well as to be able to celebrate the good times, right? And to be able to uh, pray with each other and just um, <laughs> and just uh, be able to uh, share time. Uh, to be able to pass through this time until we, until we reach our at the end of time and we are with, uh, we are the, are with our Lord God and Savior. So um, until that time, who am I? <laughs> you are Edwin. <laughs> All right, guys, my eyes are heavy, <clears throat> and um, <laughs> he's a troll, but I like him. He's all right. <laughs> He's all right. What was that verse again? That would be Mark chapter four, I believe. Mark chapter four, verse twenty-nine, I think. I think. I think. I know it's Mark. I know it's Mark. Oh, I gotta clean up my Bible here. I got lots of paper notes, man. Woo! Those can come out. Mark chapter four, I believe. And if I remember correctly, it's like verse 29, Matthew, Mark, Mark, Mark 4. You know what I'm going to do? Once I find it this time, I'm going to, um, um, where is it? Jesus comes to see. I know it's here somewhere. I think it is for lamp stand, sower, growing seeds, calms the storm. Yep, uh, chapter 4, verse 35 through 41. That's what you want, Mark. Jesus calms the storm. So I'm going to highlight that one. So I got it. Uh, so I quickly got it. For next time. <clears throat> um, the, the, um, uh, this, where this one sunk in my head, and that's why I say this one a lot, is because the, the missionary that I'm going to be going to, uh, that we're going to help out, <clears throat> um, Felix, in the Dominican Republic, he um, he came to my church um, a couple months ago. Uh, he came from Dominican up to uh, up to Buffalo because his uh, his wife um, his wife lives uh, or is from originally from uh, the Buffalo area. And uh, so they were coming up to see family, plus be able to visit us, and uh, well, no problem. And uh, he preached on the that verse or on that passage, 
and um, it just made sense the way he explained it, just the way I explained it to you. You know, it just sticks with me. You know, that um, that Jesus is always there. He's always there, whether we whether we remember that or not, right? So he's always there in the boat. He may be sleeping with his head down on a pillow on the end of the boat. And you're in the middle of the worst time of your life, right? The storm, the boat's rocking, you know, the, you know, you're just, you know, you're in that same boat, right? But remember, he's in the boat with you. All you have to do is wake him up. Hey, Jesus, wake up. We got to calm the storm. We got we to gotta take care of it. So definitely, uh, hey, Chris Rossetti, thanks for joining. I forgot to put a title in today and I didn't feel like restarting. Because I didn't feel like reading it all over again. So uh, we're going with a title of scope today, which is fine with me. It's all right. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's always in the boat with you. And um, and all you got to do is wake him up. Call out his name. Jesus. Jesus. Going with the flow. Absolutely, man. I got to get, I gotta get one of those nice microphones like you got. Because this one sounds kind of... I've been going back. I listen to my broadcast a lot, just to make sure that what I'm saying is uh, right. Because you know, sometimes you get uh, you get led around a little bit. Sometimes when you're uh, when you're talking on a broadcast, sometimes you can be led into uh, uh, into discussions and say things that uh, you know may not be uh, may not be proper or lining up right. So um, I haven't caught myself yet. So. But I still listen to my broadcast, and I listened to them the other day, and I was just like, "Wow, this microphone does not sound very great." So um, I gotta go get one of those nice ones. He's as close as the mention of his name. Absolutely, absolutely. What happens if uh, if you do delete the scope? Um, nothing. Uh, I just uh, we don't lose hearts. We don't lose nothing. We just lose the broadcast. So, but uh, it's fine. I really don't need a title in mind because when I close out at the end of my end of my uh, broadcast, which is what is the snapshot, it tells the people what I'm doing, anyways. So it tells them it's Joshua chapter two, and it's the it's the our daily bread and prayer and worship. So our prayer and uh, fellowship. So they kind of know what's already there, <clears throat> and I'll live. <laughs> It'll be fine. Um, I am very tired tonight. Um, just uh, it's been a long day. We had um, in a sun meant to do. If you find something you don't like, it wasn't right. Oh, I, I, uh, oh, if I find something that isn't right, yeah. If I do, I'll, I will. Yeah, I'll probably delete the whole thing. I'm going to bed. Absolutely, I am. Uh, we had uh, I was in the sun quite a bit today, or at least in the heat today. Uh, it was 93 degrees where I was today, so it's pretty warm for, for up here. <laughs> no, what was that? It looked good on your thumbnail. I don't know where I'm going like this. Hey. <laughs> yep, it's bedtime. <laughs> it's bedtime. All right, guys, if you uh no more praise reports or... Uh, prayer requests or anything like that. We hit 72. It's all that's good. Um, some nights we hit almost 200 and over 200. Other nights it's it's 72. It's, you know, yes, it is night and we're going to uh, be going to sleep. Got to get up for, uh, for church tomorrow. Which reminds me, I normally say this every, see I must be really out of sorts. Um, guys, if you are, um, yeah, happy Father's Day Eve. That's right. So guys, uh, down at the bottom there, you'll see where it says, if you do not have a physical church to go to, um, our church, um, the North Therian Bible Church, um, which is, uh, you know, just a, it's a Bible church. So we, we, uh, we have, uh, um, and our focus is on Jesus. So if you, um, if you want to come and watch our, our broadcast, we broadcast on Facebook and on, um, and Periscope. So if you guys don't have a physical church to go to, and yeah, which we definitely encourage you to go to a physical church, but if you you're preaching on Father's Day message, that is awesome, and you're the perfect person to do that too, absolutely. And um, 
and uh, definitely check out at North Darien BC. Uh, that is my my church, and it is at 10, 10 o'clock, uh, roughly around 10 a.m. Eastern time. <clears throat> and I usually tweet. I usually um, uh, I usually share it out and uh, invite followers and stuff like that. So uh, 10 a.m. Eastern. Yep. 10 a.m. Eastern. So uh, if you're if you need it, need some church, uh, we do uh, we broadcast our worship and the sermon, and um, and that's what we normally do. So come on over tomorrow if you have no uh, church to go to. Um, but like I said, I definitely recommend we we all recommend that if you do not have a physical church, that you uh, you pray about it and you seek out a physical church that is a, a Bible believing church. Whose um, whose focus is entirely on Jesus Christ, right, and and what He has done, and um, you know, don't get wrapped up into in, into something. I'm not gonna tell you what church to go to because there's different different denominations are gonna be fitting for different people, right? So uh, some people might might agree and line up with going to a Catholic church. Some people might agree and line up and going with a Bible church, you know, or uh, or a Baptist church or a church of God, or, you know, like pick your name at any number of them, but as long as their focus is on Jesus Christ, that is all that matters, right, that's all that matters, focus is on Jesus Christ, and they're, um, and they're not a church of hate, and not a church of, of, uh, you know, uh, of, uh, you know, any occult things, or anything like that, um, just be careful, right, and, uh, pray about it, and, and visit a church, and if uh, if you don't like that church, go check out another one. Keep trying until you find one you like. There is a church there that will be there that will help you, and help you, um, uh, you know, be part of the flock instead of being, uh, you know, feel like you're not a part of a part of the family. And that's why that's why my church is why I love my church. My church makes you feel. That's right. Grow where you're planted. Absolutely. You know, my church, when 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 you're there, they make you feel like family, and um, you know they they talk to you normally. They don't. Uh, it's not all big churchy words all the time, you know. And that's um that's important to me because uh, you know I, I I don't need to get wrapped up in uh, a lot of doctrine, a lot of different theology, and a lot of different you know stuff. That's plain and simple. The focus is on Jesus and the Bible. And um, we sing normal songs that, that you know you hear on the radio, on the on the uh, on, on the Christian radio. So you know normal, you know contemporary Christian songs, and we even do we even do an old an old hymn as well, uh, which you know some of them I know, a lot of them I don't, because you know I'm still new 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 ish. I'm a new ish. Um, they won't drag you down the aisle, right? Yeah, <laughs> right. They won't drag you down the aisle. There's gonna be no altar calls. There's gonna be no, uh, no, uh, nobody standing, usher standing behind you, waiting for you to fall out in spirit. But if that's a church that appeals to you, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't tell you that you can't go to that. Go to whatever church, as long as you're going to church, right? As long as you're going and being there, being in the presence of God, being in the presence with other believers, that's what it is, right? And you find the church that's gonna fit you best. And um, you know, you may you may have to go to a couple different churches to find out the right one. You know, um, so definitely uh, encouragement there. But yeah, if you look for anything that's um, uh, and and if you don't know what what type of church you go to, look for one that says a Bible church. Right, that's a good place to start. Um, other good ones are like Harvest Chapel. Uh, those guys are pretty good at uh, churches that uh, keep their focus on Jesus and the Bible. Um, trying to think of some other ones that are that are um, that are good for, but you, you'll find that church. I'm not going to tell you what church to go to, but that's the ones I would recommend. But uh, that's up to you guys. Whatever you fit, whatever fits you and your in your style of worship and and your. Um, you know, that, that's the great thing about it is God, God gives us a chance to be able to, uh, and, you know, take what is, what is, uh, what is written in that in that book, 
and for us to be able to understand it. All right, that's all he wants us to do is know his word. He wants us to know him and have a relationship with him. All this other stuff is is uh, is is there for for uh, you know for us to worship him. And um, if it is, that's what it is. So um, I thank you guys for joining me. I'm tired. I feel like I'm babbling on, so that means it's time to go. <laughs> I'm getting ready to close. <laughs> All right, guys. You have a very nice night. Know that Jesus loves you. All right? That's really what it is. He loves you. Know that I love you. Uh, know that every single member that Jesus did a family loves you. And uh, check out JesusDidIt.org uh, after this broadcast. And um, just take a look and see about all the other broadcasters that broadcast under the hashtag JesusDidIt. Um, as well as um, some other broadcasters that we like and, and some the affirmation sheet for download. So take a look at that stuff. Um, uh, and um, if you want to, uh, to join our Facebook uh, group, you can reach out to Rick Costa. And uh, he will uh, he will uh, he will add you into the group uh, on Facebook if you're interested. Uh, and uh, I do thank you guys again for joining me on this journey from Genesis to Revelation, one chapter at a time. And I do thank you for joining me with my devotional as well. Um, you guys are awesome. I thank you for the hearts. I thank you for all the invites, follows, and shares. Um, you guys are awesome. We're at. Uh, Probably something around uh, th probably 3.3 million now, I suspect, um, because I can't see my my screen, so I really have no idea uh, how many we're at. But that doesn't matter because you know, all those hearts, all those invites and follows and shares, are all to go, uh, all honoring to God. You know, to those are for Jesus, and that and that's what it is. You know, and uh, my my intention is to uh, to share the word of God and to uh, and to share the gospel with everybody who comes on my broadcast. So we're going to walk on out with a prayer, and I thank you guys again for joining me. Uh, Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for all this time that you've given us today for us to share with everybody who has uh, decided to to click into the broadcast here today, Lord. We uh, we thank we thank you for, for them and their presence, and Lord, we just uh, we, we lift them up in, uh, in, in, in prayer today, Lord, and, and I hope that the words that they're hearing are all honoring to you, Lord, and uh, let let the words that uh, that are that are heard um, may maybe move them and, and get them to uh, to uh, see that uh, that the Lord Jesus Christ is their Lord and Savior. He's the only one who has come down from heaven, right, as a as a baby, born of a virgin, uh, you know, walked the earth for thirty three years, and um, never committed a single sin and spent and spent his time teaching other people what it looks like to be an authentic man uh, in, in a time you know that that uh, you know uh, 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 and to show other people what love looks like what healing looks like what um, what just being uh, holy looks like and uh, Lord you you uh, you we just thank you for the the, the um, we just thank you for uh, taking the beatings and being put up on a cross and to die for my sins and for everybody else's sins. You died for all, it didn't matter who who it was, you know, uh, white, black, yellow, brown, green, orange, blue, purple. It doesn't matter your color of your skin. It doesn't matter the uh, the uh, you know. Whether you're short, you're tall, you're, you're whatever it is, he died for us all. He died for every single one of us, for all of our sins, and uh, he took them up on the cross with him. And um, we can't even thank you enough, Lord. And then for you to do the 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 greatest thing ever that no other man has ever done was you, uh, you conquered death, Lord. You, you rose, you rose again after being dead for three days. And then you went and you ascended to heaven. No other person, no other religious uh, uh, figure has ever done that uh, except for you, Lord. And we, uh, we thank you so much for this time, uh, for, for, 
for us to uh, to hopefully understand what your gospel is about you and what your love looks like to, towards us. Lord, we, uh, we thank you for an opportunity and a chance to be able to thank you for this time as well as to be able to, uh, to praise you for all the great things that happened. And Lord, we also ask for protection for, for our friends that may be, may be facing hurricanes or other storms in their lives that, that may be spiritual or uh, mental um, uh, uh, struggles. Um, Lord, we uh, str uh, mental storms. Lord, we just uh, we we uh, we wake you up on that bow of that of that boat. And Lord, we ask that you uh, that you calm our storms in, in this time of need. Lord, uh, I thank you for everyone that's come on the broadcast today, and um, I just uh, want them to know that uh, that I love them and that I know that you love them. So Lord, we we thank you again for this time that we spent and shared with each other. Uh, in your mighty son's name, we pray. Amen. All right, guys, you have a nice night. Get some rest. Get to church tomorrow. Who am I? Get to church tomorrow and. Um, uh, fellowship with some some people. Uh, say hello to someone you haven't uh, ever said hello to. Um, sit down in a seat next to someone you never sat to before. Um, do something a little bit different, but just make it to church if you can. My right, guys, I thank you for joining me on this journey again, and uh, we will see you tomorrow. Be blessed. <laughs>